question number 15. Now before we dive into this question, I just want to say a quick word about target numbers. If you have any trouble with timing on the Math No Calculator test, you should not be spending your time on this question. Your time is going to be much more effectively spent doing and checking your work on questions 1 through 13, questions 16, 17, and 18 of the Griddens. Those questions are a little bit simpler, they're going to be a little bit faster, and they're worth the same amount of points. Make sure that those questions are right and that you've got plenty of time to do all of those questions perfectly before you even start thinking about these ones. Um, otherwise, you're just not working at your most effective. So, let's dive in. The expression 1 third times x squared minus 2 can be rewritten as 1 third times x minus k times x plus k, where k is a positive constant. What is the value of k? So when I'm doing a problem like this, I just want to make this top term look like this bottom term, right? In order to solve for my k values, I just need to see what this actually is if it's rewritten as this. So in order to rewrite it, I've got to factor one third out of both terms. Factoring one third out of one third x squared is easy. It's just one third times x squared. And factoring one third out of negative two is a little bit trickier, but I hopefully remember uh, when I'm factoring something out. I want to keep the value the same, so I'm just going to both multiply and divide by the same number. So I'm going to multiply by one third, and I'm also going to divide two divided by one third. Now these two one thirds could cancel out, and I could have the same thing here, but I don't want to do that, right? I want to keep that one third outside because I want to factor it, so I'm going to simplify just what's inside these parentheses. Two divided by one third is the same thing as two times. 3 over 1, which equals 6, right? That's what this is. So now I can see I've got 1 third times x squared minus 6. Now that I'm here, I can simply factor this x squared minus 6 into uh, its, its two forms. Now, normally when I see something squared minus something else squared, I know that's a difference of two perfect squares. This is not a difference of two perfect squares because 6 is not a perfect square. But 6 is, in fact, a square. The square root of 6 is square root of 6, right? That's plus the square root of 6 and minus the square root of 6. These two things multiply together to give me negative 6. So I know that I can turn this into 1 third times x minus root 6 times x plus root 6. And from here, I can see root 6 is k. They're the exact same thing. They're in the exact same form. That's my answer, D. If you picked C, you probably forgot to factor one third out of two, and you just took the square root of two. If you picked B, you probably uh, forgot to factor this positive root six and negative root six out of this uh, negative six. And if you picked two, you probably made both of those mistakes.